My name is Magdalena Matejek, and on behalf of Nico Best, Salvador Soto Faraco, and me, I'm very happy to present the results from our recent project exploring whether there is a social motion preference in autistic adults. Previous studies have shown that when presented with both, autistic children look less at the social motion scenes and more at the geometrical ones, while neurotypical children show the opposite pattern of looking preference. It may be that the underlying mechanism for this is the different assignment of saliency in sensory processing, which can be indexed by pupillary responses. If that is the case, lack of social motion preference could be a potential behavioral marker of autism, especially if this effect persists into adulthood. However, this preference had not yet been tested in adults. Therefore, here we tested both behavioral looking preference and pupillary responses to social and geometrical motion in autistic and non-autistic adults. We hypothesized that the groups would differ in both measures so that non-autistic adults in comparison to the autistic group would show larger relative responses to social than to geometrical motion. To test that, we collected data from 32 autistic and 34 non-autistic volunteers in two tasks. In the first one, participants passively watched videos with side-by-side -side presentations of actors producing dynamic facial expressions and dynamic geometrical figures. With this, we measured the looking preference. In the second task, participants watched the same stimuli but presented sequentially while we measured their pupillary responses. As planned and pre-registered, we first tested the behavioral looking preference per group. Descriptively, most of the non-autistic participants showed a preference for social motion, while there seemed to be more variance in the autistic participants. This was confirmed by statistical testing, which yielded that the neurotypical group showed a clear preference for social motion, and the autistic participants on the group level did not show any looking preference. Then, we tested the pupil sizes in the second task, modeling the course of the pupil response with orthogonal polynomials. We found a clear preference, a uh, clear difference between the groups um, in the relative response to both conditions, so that the autistic participants showed a larger response to the social videos than the neurotypical group. We further confirmed it with simple post hoc t tests between groups and with an additional model looking at absolute responses to both conditions in both groups. Because this was a surprising effect, we also tested if it could be explained by social anxiety traits in exploratory analysis. However, that was not the case. Overall, we showed that autistic and non-autistic adults differ in the looking preference. While the non-autistic group shows a strong preference for the social motion, there's no clear preference for either motion type in the autistic group. Based on the pupillary data, we suggest that it is possible that this difference is related to increased effort in processing of social motion in the autistic group. Hence, social motion preference, or lack thereof, might be a potential autism marker even in adulthood. Thank you for your attention and hope to see you in London.